back, back at it again with yet another Rumski video. Today is gonna be a little bit of a disappointment. I'll be honest, I let you guys down on this one. This is gonna be a letdown. So if you're not ready for a letdown video, click away. I'll give you the option right now, leave. It's gonna be a letdown. So if you're still here, get ready to be let down. So if you read the title of this video, this is the video for my new short program for the 2023-2024 season. Super exciting stuff. As you can tell, I'm super stoked about it. But the reason why it's a disappointment, I don't actually have much footage of it. So nice. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video. I legitimately don't have much footage at all of the process of the choreography that I usually do. I'll be honest, during that creative week, I was pooped. I was beyond tired in every way imaginable. So I kept thinking, you know, how am I gonna make this video? What am I gonna do? Story time. This is the best I can do right now. So let's get on with the video. Long story short, I don't wanna keep you guys waiting for too long. My short program music is by you knew that was gonna happen. Stumbled upon the music, and we weren't even sure if this was the year to do it. But then, like, I listened to it a couple times, and I was like, this is the year to do it. I guess the gist is I wanted to take my skating to a new level. Wanted to bring a different quality of performance to my skating. I was really stoked when Mary France accepted my request for her to do my uh, short program. We reached out to Mary France kind of late in the... Uh, choreography season, if you will. I think I reached out, I don't remember the exact dates, maybe like April-ish. Probably should give you some background. For those of you who don't know Mary Franz, uh, she works out of Montreal at I Am, which is basically the world's center for ice dance. You probably know of a few people that have trained there. I probably don't even need to go down the list of all the ice dancers that skate there or have skated there. Honestly, just pick a team out of the hat. They're probably in Montreal. The center of ice dance, that's where I wanted to go. I wanted to get a different perspective, a different quality to my skating. Basically, I wanted to be more ice dancer-like. Just wanted to get more inspired in that side of figure skating and try to bring some of those qualities into my own skating. So that was kind of the uh, idea behind it. Trace and I spoke about it. We had the music, we reached out to her, and it was a bit of a gamble because they're busy. You know, when you have like 20, I don't know, 20, 30 ice dance teams, junior and senior, their schedule is actually unreal. Like I cannot believe how the thing runs as well as it runs, but it do, it's special. It's something actually like out of this world. We were just crossing our fingers and apparently there was some cancellation that I could just slip in and it worked out. If it weren't for that cancellation, I probably still would not have a short program right now. A bit of an exaggeration, I probably would. The things lined up. Things are, are lining up this year when it comes to choreography. Finding music for the long was really easy. By the way, if you haven't seen that process, go watch that video. And then finding the music, we stumbled upon this music that we just like clicked with and we, we knew who we wanted to work with, it was just coming down to, will they want to work with me? Yes. yes. The answer yes. was yes. Thank you, Mary France and the whole team at I Am. It was actually like an incredible creative experience through that whole week. And I'll try to briefly explain to you guys how it was. And I actually like brought my camera and wanted to like share it with you guys. But at the same time, I was like living in the moment and just like soaking it all in. And I was like, this is something else. And then it just didn't. So I packed my bags, took the six hour drive to Montreal from Toronto. Surprisingly, super easy. Throw in a couple of podcasts, zoom, zoom. I was there six hours later. It's better than flying. Definitely better than flying. And we just got to work. The creative process was different. So I worked with Mary France and I also worked with Sam Trinard, a very collaborative, experience for those of you who don't know sam he works at i am basically full time if i'm not wrong and he works with all the skaters his background is purely dance and off ice dance and i think his work speaks for itself he's worked with 
everyone there. Definitely a special experience. He really helped kind of work to my strengths and my movement style, but then also explore on top of that, sprout out into different movement styles, different inspiration. And um, this was all done off the ice. So we were playing with different movement off the ice and we tried to come up with a, basically an off ice dance routine to the music that I was gonna skate to. So that was like different than what usually happens with my choreography. Now, while we're making this off ice dance routine, I'd also go on the ice and work with Mary Franz, map out the jumps, get some choreography going, get some creative stuff going. And it's kind of going at the same time. So we're working stuff off the ice and then working stuff on the ice at the same time. Then uh, day two came along. Then we started to kind of merge together. So then Mary Franz works with Sam and brings some of the inspirations from off the ice back on the ice and we try to mix it together. Obviously not everything off the ice makes it back on the ice just cause like, you know, blades and skating doesn't 100% translate. So we tried to modify it a couple hours off the ice, couple hours on the ice, couple hours off the ice, couple hours on the ice. And it was kind of like a 50-50 working with Mary Franz and Sam. And then towards the end of the week, it was them together on the ice and we were working it out. And it is a very, very special program. Every little detail was paid attention to. Every, even the music cut, the pacing, the wording, the lyrics we chose, everything is like, it's storytelling. I really love the theme for this year and I really love the storytelling that's going on in it. It is deep, that it, it's some deep stuff. And I don't wanna say too much. My whole perspective kind of changed once I kind of like watched how they worked and watched how all the ice dancers worked on the ice. Your perspective of figure skating changes a little bit. Skating and the creative aspect of it. So it was like, honestly, a phenomenal, phenomenal week. And I'm sorry I didn't get to like show you more of it, but I was just like living in it. Yeah, and with that, I'm gonna leave it. I don't think I got anything else to say. Overall, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Every time I do this program, I'm like excited to do this program. I don't wanna flex too hard with it because then like I've set the expectations so high. So I'm just gonna say like, it's, it's okay. It's an okay program. But again, big thanks to Mary Franz and Sam and everyone at I Am for making it feel like home. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button so you know when the next video comes out. Hit that like button. It does help me out. Leave a comment down below on how you feel and what you think and if you're angry that uh, you didn't get to see the full thing. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.